Hey everybody, tutorial time. So you want to learn how to do uh, ambient occlusion? Well, I'm here to show you how to do just that. So I made a little scene here for us, and if you want to download this scene, you can do so on my site, tinea.co. I will leave a link in the description. Just a little bit before I start, I'm using V-Ray uh, 3. Now you obviously can use uh, V-Ray 2 if you so wish. Uh, it's totally fine. Uh, and also, the HDRI I'm using, I download from hdrilabs.com. I will leave a link. Uh, I believe I used the new port loft. Now, so you have to download that yourself, I believe. I don't want to ship it. I don't want to break any rules here. So, where should we start? So, first of all, to make, well, what is ambient occlusion? If you don't know what that is, it's, uh, I guess, contact shadow. It's the easiest way of explaining it, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. And you can complain all you want. Now, the first uh, way of uh, making this is in the GI, the render settings. Okay, but that's going to bake this down into the beauty uh, render. So you can't really do much with it. So might not the best way. I mean, it's a quick and dirty way, but I think it's better to render out a pass. So to do that, you can, in Render Elements, create a new, uh, well, a new Render Element. And you use the V-Ray Extra Text. Extra Texture. Click OK, and we have the texture here. That's the only thing that you need to add, so I'm going to click that. You can use V-Ray Dirt or V-Ray Distance Texture. Both of these are totally fine. They are different settings, but I'm going to go with the Dirt one. Click and drag and do an instance. And here we have some settings. So you can invert, for example. Now that wouldn't be um, wouldn't be really be ambient occlusion though, but that could be good for other things. Um, that would be the invert normal. Uh, but anyways, what we want to change is this, the radius and the subdivs for the quality. And I'm going to leave everything as is. You can play around with this if you wish. But for a basic ambient occlusion, this is totally fine. So when that is done, and this is in here in the elements, we can basically make a render. So here's the render, it's rendering away. And if you click here, we can choose our render text. I should have um, changed the name, but I didn't. But anyways, here it is. This is ambient occlusion. You would then save this out with everything else and then uh, multiply this in Photoshop. I'm going to show you that uh, after I've showed you the other thing you can do as well. But yeah, this is ambient occlusion. <clears throat> Super simple with V-Ray. And um, I actually have this always on. I, all, all of these is always uh, when I start uh, 3ds Max. I never have to like add things. Uh, you can d make a max start file, and uh, so every time you start photo, uh, well, 3ds Max, it's going to be the way you want it to be. For example, you know, if you don't do that, you are always going to have to change the the render to uh, V-Ray, for example. So if you want me to make a tutorial on that, I can do so. But it's really simple you can google that but let me know if you want a tutorial on that i can do so but anyways it's done here so you would just save this out either like so you save one or you save uh, all all the elements will be saved but i'm not going to do that i already have that uh, done so i don't have to do that so the third way 
would be to do a uh, render to texture. It is what it says. You uh, render it to the texture. So it's a per object, so it's not going to be a global thing. Uh, this is something that you might want to do if you do game assets, for example. Um, so yeah, what you do is render to texture. It's up here in the menu, rendering, and then render to texture. This is also, um, I mean, you can render out everything. I have made uh, these, every object here, not renderable, like so, except for this, uh, because otherwise uh, it might, um, well, the outcome might be uh, not correct. <clears throat> So what you do is you select your object, here's the cylinder, I should have named it, output, where will it be, and uh, then the existing channel, I'm choosing that because UV unwrap, let's see, map channel 1, like so. <coughs> So just uh, have it there. I think this is the where it is from the beginning. Uh, and then we need to add an output. I'm always choosing a complete map. It's fine. Like so just name it something. Target. You don't have to choose anything. I'm gonna pick a low rest just for for the tutorial sake. So it's fast. If I own, if I render this now to the texture, while the GI is on and everything, it will be something like this. It renders uh, the colors, the um, global illumination, shadows, everything. Obviously, this is not what we want, not for this, at least. So what we need to do is, we can just do an override. I'm just gonna remove the light and shadow and remove the GI. We don't need that. In the override, we need to make a material. Let's click that <coughs> and pick a V-Ray light material because we do need uh, <coughs> the white to be white. Uh, because when you multiply in Photoshop, uh, you want uh, the white to not be seen, just uh, the dark pixels. And uh, in this field, we either choose the dirt or the distance. So I'm going to go with the dirt. Let's just put a value here, subdivs for the quality. And that's pretty much all we need to do now we can render this out and here we have an ambient occlusion you would then save this out and use it uh, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna remove these I'm gonna add a GI, well we don't need a GI let's not do that right now let's create a new material I'm gonna pick the one that I already have, the bit more high res. Let's copy this into the diffuse so you can see. If I add it to our um, chip here, we are getting this with the ambient occlusion. Awesome, it's on the texture. Super easy. Nothing special. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now let's check out what you would do in Photoshop uh, for the the thing we did uh, before here, the M occlusion pass. That would be this, right? So you have the beauty, which would be this, and uh, then you add in your M occlusion, and you do a multiply. If you toggle on and off, you can see there's a big difference. Looks nice. You can obviously duplicate this and kind of 
play with the opacity if you want even stronger effect or uh, just add uh, you know I don't know curves maybe clip it and just play with it like that however you want yeah that's pretty much it <clears throat> that's three ways of uh, getting ambient occlusion so uh, hopefully you uh, learned something new uh, yeah so see you in the next tutorial bye